Steve Holcomb is a bobsledder who's heading to his second Olympics in 2010. How is the role of the driver different to everybody else's role? Um, well, as a four-man team, we all push the sled at the beginning of, the, of the, the run, and then as everybody gets in the sled, I kind of take over and guide the sled down um, through the track and try to minimize our losing speed and, and try to have the fastest time and fastest lines down the track. Do you feel responsible for the results? Is it is it your team? Um, technically, yeah. I mean, as you can see, you know, this is my team hat right here. It's Team Holcomb, um, and yeah, I, I'm you know in the sense I'm the team leader and whatnot um, as a driver. But at the same time, we're a team and. You know, all of us have our each each have our own uh, responsibility, and each one of us has to do our job on that day. So, um, if we can all come together, I think we'll be victorious. When you're going down the track, is there any way that you can tell how you're progressing, whether you're winning or losing? Um, fortunately, no. It, um, I think it, we, every once in a while you'll be going down the track, and there's a, a clock will be on the side, and you can see it. And you know, usually it's it's really distracting if you're taking your eyes off and looking at your time, and you realize you're ahead or you're behind, and then it's. You know, then you've already you've lost where you are and then you just kind of make a mistake and it gets worse. Um, they talked about uh, putting installing radios into the helmets or maybe a heads up display on your visor, but it's, uh, it's just too distracting and with not too much information is, can be a bad thing. One of the challenges that you've dealt with during your career is having a degenerative eye disease. Tell us about that. Um, I have uh, keratoconus, which uh, like you said is a degenerative eye disease where my eyes slowly just get worse and worse and worse. Um, it's a thinning of the cornea. A few years ago, I got to the point where I actually had to retire. I retired in 2007. Um, not officially, my coach wouldn't let me, but um, he, uh, I pretty much, I couldn't see anymore. My, my eyes got so bad that they couldn't correct it with uh, contacts or glasses anymore. You know, after, once you get reached that point, you know, I, I, it was a safety issue. I didn't want to hurt anybody. And if I, you know, God forbid I crash and, and injure somebody or, you know, you know, God forbid kill them, you know, I mean, it, that'd be, really a bad thing, you know, knowing that I could have prevented that, but uh, um, Brian Scheimer, my coach, went out and he helped me find a doctor out in Beverly Hills that um, took me through a procedure that brought me back to 2020, and pretty much a year later after that, I won a world championship. So, from retirement to the world champion is, you know, in, in year, so that's pretty cool. What are you hoping for out of Vancouver in 2010? Uh, well, obviously, I want to win, be the Olympic champion. That's what the main goal. But uh, the first step is to get to the Olympics. And once we're at the Olympics, then it's a, it's a matter of focusing and, and getting the team together and really uh, stepping up to the plate on game day and uh, trying to bring home a, another medal for the, for the United States. Well, we're looking forward to seeing Team Holcomb take to the tracks in 2010. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, my pleasure. I'm Ella Morton, and you've been watching Rocket Boom.